Welcome back to 34 Diagrams in 34 Days, where I'm going to draw all the diagrams that you need for AP Microeconomics. Today is day 12, and we are looking at revenue. So revenue is the amount of money a firm will make if everyone pays the same price. We calculate it by doing price times quantity. We are going to draw our axes with a ruler, and we know that we are calculating the price or the cost and the revenue on the y-axis and the output for the firm, or you could say the quantity. We know that demand slopes downwards, and we are used to drawing that with a red pen. If you think about it, demand is going to be equal to average revenue. If I work out average revenue by finding total revenue, dividing it by the quantity, and total revenue is equal to price times quantity, and then we divide that by quantity, we're going to have average revenue equaling price. And so we read off of the average revenue curve to tell us the price of the product. If we're trying to calculate from our average revenue the total revenue, we could say, Here's our quantity and here's the revenue. When we produce two units, we're going to work out our revenue, which is price times quantity. Six times two is 12. If I produce four units, we're going to have a price of five. So five times four is 20. If I produce six units, I can price them at four. Four times six is 24. If I produce eight units, I need to reduce the price to increase my quantity. Three times eight is 24. 10 times two is 20. And 12 times 1 is 12. Initially, we can see that as my quantity is increasing because my price is falling, we've got an increasing revenue. And then we reach a point where it starts decreasing. We can draw that on a diagram underneath. On my y-axis, I'm going to be showing my revenue. On my x-axis, I'm showing my quantity. And my total revenue, as we said, is going to increase. You can see my total revenue is going to increase from 12 to 20, 24, 24, 20, 12, and eventually, as I go past 12, it's going to make zero in revenue. That's my total revenue. We can work out marginal revenue by saying how much does revenue increase every one unit I go across. And you can see, that initially, my marginal revenue is positive. It's increasing. Every time I go across one, I go up. Across one, I go up. Across one, I go up. You will notice that I go up by less each time. So my marginal revenue is positive but decreasing until we reach our maximum point. That's around six and eight. Then we can see that as I go out one, I go down. Out one, down. Out one, down. Out one, and down. We can see that my marginal revenue is now negative. Onto my top diagram, it will have twice the gradient of my average revenue. For this portion, it is positive and decreasing until our marginal revenue is zero. We are no longer increasing our total revenue by decreasing the price and then our marginal revenue is negative. 